Anyway, that's neither here nor there, but something that ties into that, all right? In particular, the Halloween Marathon, all right? So those of you who were here for the event and you're active viewers of my content and you were having a good time with it, you know, everything was great. What you might not realize is, as usual, there's this dark cloud of idiocy out there on the internet that likes to hover behind me or above me or whatever you want to call it, dropping, they don't, it doesn't rain, it drops turds, all right? So it's like a turd cloud. That's what I, that's actually what I should actually call these people from now on. They're not my detractors, they're my stalking turd cloud. Because that's pretty much the exact, what they are. They just follow me around to shit on everything. So, one of their running jokes that they've been doing over this last week, and the only reason I know about this is because they post it in my chat constantly, is that apparently I cross-dressed on Halloween. Now, first of all, even if I had cross-dressed on Halloween, there's nothing wrong with that. At all. There's nothing wrong with that. And people who do it, it's fine. There's nothing to be said is bad about it. It's funny because the people who are, like, making jokes about this are acting like it's some kind of a horrendous thing when it's not anymore. I, I don't even say anymore. It used to be viewed as a negative, weird thing. It's not a bad thing. There's entire fucking franchises based off of this. RuPaul's Drag Race and all kinds of shit. Like, what are you talking about? People do this constantly. This is not a big deal anymore. Really, it's not. It's acceptable to do it in 2022. All right? Now, in particular, what's funny is they're treating it like a negative towards me when it's definitely not a negative anyway, but I didn't even do it anyway. All right? What they've actually been saying, and this is what's funny, oh, you obviously bought a women's wig to wear on Halloween. Uh, wigs are not gendered. You realize that, right? There's no male or female wig. It doesn't exist. It's something that anyone can wear. Like, what are you talking about? It's just, it's the biggest, again, it's the turd cloud of idiocy. There's no intelligence there. It's just a big, vapid black hole of stupid. But this is the shit that they say. So it was actually funny as some people were actually saying dumb shit like, yeah, Phil bought a women's wig and let's make fun of him all week for wearing women's, a women's wig or whatever. Um, and then the other day someone said something to me. They said, you still have the packaging from the wig. I was like, what? They were like, can we see the packaging from the wig? Why? So then anyway, on a whim, last night as I'm going to sleep, I just happened to look into the trash can in the bedroom and I realized I still had the packaging from the wig. Here it is. Does that, it's a 90s rock star wig. It's supposed to look kind of like a grunge band guy. You know what it's supposed to be? Kurt Cobain. I think that's what, I didn't even know that because I didn't even look at that when I bought it. I was looking, I said, that looks like Ken Masters hairdo from Street Fighter 2. But I think it's a Kurt Cobain wig is what it's supposed to be. That's what the wig looked like, by the way. I would actually say the wig had more hair than that. But that's what it was supposed to be. Who's Kurt Cobain? Wow, that's crazy. People don't even know. The head, the headline, or the uh, head uh, singer, the lead of uh, Nirvana, the al alternative grunge band in the 1990s. Passed away, killed himself, actually. Committed suicide. So, so there you have it. That's what I bought, because I thought, I'm looking at the picture, I was like, that definitely looks like, in fact, Ken has worn clothing similar to that in recent games as well. So I looked at it, I was like, wow, that definitely looks like Ken Masters. That's perfect. That looks, that, that guy's probably dressing as Ken Masters in the picture. Right? So there you go. Are we excited now? Did you, like, what was the big deal about that? But again, the turd cloud is so full of stupid. And it follows me all around. It's like, what did that have to do with anything? Nothing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back into the, the trash. And people can stop asking me dumb questions about dumb shit. Please leave. It, it, the Halloween event's over. All right, you can stop talking about it and trying to create drama where it doesn't exist because that's what they do in their turd cloud up there. They're little drama seekers. They're just trying to make shit up. So there you go. Woohoo. And by the way, if it were a woman's wig, it still wouldn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. It's 2022, you fucking dunces. I swear these people live like, like what is it, the 19 fucking 50s? Anyway. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that out of the way, um, police siren outside. Pretty loud. There's been a couple of them going up the street. Must have been something going on. It's raining out there, but it's not too bad. Like, I don't think this has anything to do with the weather. 